So cancer cachexia is a wasting syndrome. Uh, it's a wasting syndrome <clears throat> that patients experience. And, and the way that you know that these patients have cachexia or this syndrome is that they look very emaciated. They look very lean. They look like they've lost muscle mass. They've lost fat mass. And that's really what the wasting syndrome is. It's a loss of lean muscle mass. It's a loss of fat mass. It's anorexia, or the decreased appetite, all which contribute to weight loss. And the reason that this is very important ultimately is because it's identified, the syndrome is identified in 50% of all solid tumor cancer patients. It's, um, it's responsible for about 30% of all cancer related deaths and having, and if you have two patients um, that have the same stage of cancer, the state, same amount of disease burden, but one of those patients also has this wasting syndrome, they will live half as long as the other patient. So it really is a very important and clinical fundamental question. So the problem with cachexia is that we've not identified a FDA approved drug treatment for the, the syndrome or even an exercise regimen or a nutritional um, improvement to reverse the syndrome for, for many, many years. Um, and in fact, there are no FDA approved treatments. So we lack appropriate therapies. And number two, we actually lack biomarkers to be able to predict um, and identify which patients will actually end up developing this, this wasting syndrome. And, and our lab uh, takes a very uh, important view that tumors are releasing factors that are going to your brain and telling you to stop eating, going to your muscle and telling it to undergo atrophy, um, sending signals to the adipose tissue to tell it to undergo lipolysis and lose fatty acids. And so, you know, what we've been doing in our lab is to try to identify uh, molecules that are both important to inducing cachexia syndrome, as well as uh, markers that will help us predict which patients will develop further wasting down the line. And um, some of our data has led to actually early phase clinical trials where we're testing the role of JAK inhibitors in, in the ability to control and suppress uh, cancer cachexia in advanced non-small cell lung cancer patients.